If you can't compete in the United States for women, you definitely won't be able to compete abroad with women. Eventually, they're going to understand that you're at the lower level of men from where you come from, and they're going to seek out the men who are better than you who come from the same place. Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. And here we go with more shaming tactics from American women. Let's take a listen to this woman give a public service announcement to all men when it comes down to competing for women, not only in a first world country like the United States, but in other countries like Brazil, the Philippines, and Colombia. But listen close, because she's outing women in the United States while she's calling herself warning us. But before we get started, I'd like to give a special thanks to Dwayne Gilmer for your generous contribution in supporting my channel through PayPal. Please know that your continued support is greatly appreciated. You have to recognize that we are in a global society now. And so a lot of things have changed with the consciousness of women around the world. And because we live in a global world now, women around the world, even in remote villages and places, you didn't think they would have access to information. Because of the internet, because of social media, they have access to information. And so many women around the world understand that there are different classes of men, no matter where they're from. This is why you'll notice in many countries uh, or islands like the Dominican Republic, Brazil, um, Philippines, a lot of these women do not prefer the men in their countries because they've been exposed to men abroad who actually have money. Now she's right. that some women in foreign countries are getting information as fast as the rest of the world. But women in those countries have been exposed to men with money since the beginning of time of men going to those countries with money. So that's nothing new. What her scare tactic here is, if you don't make a lot of money, you might as well not even go to those countries. Just stay right here where you are, right where she and women like her want you to stay. And so now on the global level, women around the world can tell when a man is from the United States or from his country and he's at the lower class because of women like myself, okay? How can a woman from any country, including the country you live in, know what level of class you're on unless you tell her? There are guys who live in expensive houses and drive expensive cars, and they broke as hell. Then you have other men who live in mediocre accommodation, drive in mint condition used cars, and have stacks of money and assets. So the woman won't know unless you flaunt it. Um, women understand that there are echelons of men. We understand this around the world now because we're global, right? So you're not going to be able to cross the border and sell cans and secure any woman, okay? I've been to many countries and I guarantee you, if you go over there with that mentality, you're going to be very unsuccessful at being able to secure a relationship. So this is where the wheels fall off for this lady, thinking that she's giving a public service announcement. The comment above her head is what she's referring to about selling cans, and it reads, B.S. A man can come over the border, will get respect from his wife even if he sells cans. Notice how she said, if you're going over there thinking you're going to sell cans and get a woman. The comment is clearly coming from a man who's saying that women in those countries that she names respect their husband even if he loses his job and has to sell cans to put food on the table. Not go over there and expect to sell cans and get a wife. But you see how she's turning it into, if you're broke and you go over there, don't think you're gonna be able to compete. So she just turned it into what we would consider a scare tactic. But we're not falling for it. Boy, they're getting real desperate they're trying to convince us not to leave the country, aren't they? And even with that mentality, that's not the type of mentality that a masculine man should have to find a woman. If you can't compete in the United States for women, you definitely won't be able to compete abroad with women. Show of hands, how many guys are trying to compete for women in this country? You must be crazy. Eventually, they're going to understand that you're at the lower level of men from where you come from, and they're going to seek out the men who are better than you who come from the same place. What she's really saying is, the money-hungry women over there, also known as gold diggers, once they find out you don't make as much money as they want a man to make, she's gonna trade you in for the highest bidder. Show of hands. How many men are going overseas looking for a gold digger? Girl, I see right through all that Maybelline what you're trying to do here. So no matter how you shake it up, men, we're still wired biologically for you guys to have to compete. 
Not in this day and age. If she don't want you, keep it pushing. Start chasing these women in this day and age, and she'll treat you like a chump. For those of you guys who've been following my channel, you already know better. A woman around the world knows what a competitive man looks like. We know what a competent man looks like. We know that a man who just kicks cans and sells cans is not as competitive as the one who has the company that makes the cans, produce the cans, and sell the cans. We're going to go for the producer of the cans. See how she outed herself and women that think like her? She said we're going to go after the man who produces the can. That means that all the women like her are going to have to compete for that man. And as far as the man who kicks the cans and sells the cans, I'm following quite a few men over in the Philippines who are living off their social security check with no pension and they're married and have been married for years to loving women. So she's talking about the women who are choosing men strictly based on how much money they make. Those are not quality women. Quality woman wants a man based on his character and if they're compatible, not by how much money he makes. So don't let us have access to that kind of information. Go ahead overseas and keep going with that mentality. And you're not going to get the best class of women. You're going to be um, getting prostitutes. You're not going to be getting women who marry you. So keep, that kind of consciousness is a very broken um, poverty consciousness, which shows that you're not competitive over here. So stay woke. So basically, she's saying if you're a man that has a lot of money, you'll get a better class of woman. A woman who is only considering dating you based on how much money you make. But the man who doesn't have money is going to end up with a woman for hire. For a woman who claims she's been overseas, she sure can't lie. Did you notice that throughout the entire video, all she talked about was a man with money? But the comment that she calls herself responding to was a man that was talking about being respected. Man, she's so intelligent, she didn't even catch that she was completely off the topic. We all know that as the days go on, men are being disrespected on a daily basis, and we see it here on social media. Any woman that would choose a man based on the amount of money that he makes is not a quality woman, like she's trying to make it sound. No. It's the woman that chooses you regardless of how much money you make. She's the quality woman. Now don't get me wrong, you still need to be making money. I don't know any woman that wants a man who does not provide. But the quality woman chooses you based on your moral value, your character, your drive, being responsible, being resourceful, being dependable, and so on. So to sum up this whole video for her, women like her are only interested in men with money. So what do you think would happen if that man's money ran out? Do you think she'd do the same? Run out? It just goes to show you. Some of these women will stop at nothing when it comes down to using scare tactics to try to keep men from using their passports and going to other countries to find compatible mates. Nice try, sister. But once again, another scare tactic that has failed. So I'll leave you with this advice. Fellas, when you go to these other countries, the women that you're interacting with, they should never know how much money you have or how much money you make. And don't go over there flaunting your money around. It's not necessary. Keep that to yourself. And if she's interested in you without knowing how much money you make, she's a better quality of woman. However, if you have money and you lead with your money, a chick like this is what you're going to end up with. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. You are anything like me. You grew up with a grandmama that said, uh, what's yours is yours and what's his is yours. <laughs> yeah, that's what my grandma said. She was like, listen now, always keep some money to the side and what's yours is yours and what's his is yours. Now, I love Grandma B, but you know, Grandma B passed at the age of 98. Um, she hadn't had a man for about 50 years, all right? Uh, maybe a little bit more than that, but 50 or maybe even 60 years, okay? So I cannot take on the, that belief system and make it apply to me uh, in the life that I'm living today. Times have changed. Women uh, are getting more education. Things were different then. So some of the things that your mama, your big mama, and your Medea that they're teaching you, you know, love them, give them a kiss, smile, or do whatever, but you can't apply that stuff today, okay? You're gonna be alone if you try to apply some of that stuff. And the thing that we are facing and dealing with is uh, in many cases, or in lots of cases, the woman makes more money than the man. I've been happily married for 26 years to Demetrius Richardson. As I said, Grandma B 
planted the seed in my life and Demetrius Richardson surely has watered it. Um, but it's no secret that for the great majority of our relationship, I have been uh, the breadwinner. But for me, that doesn't mean anything because his love, his courage, his protection, um, his caring for me and our children, um, that is the way that I've been able to make money. Without him doing the things that he has done, uh, I wouldn't be able to make our money. It is our money. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.